This introduction shows how to use the fault isolation lessons. Every fault isolation lesson has the same introduction. The second part of the lesson is a fault isolation example. You will begin each example with a problem report. You will see the report here during the fault isolation examples. You will use these tools to find the cause of the problem and to identify the corrective action. The tools will help you find this information. The tools will be available during the fault isolation example. You can select a tool now to learn more about it or you can use the forward arrow. You will select FIM tab sections and data to collect fault isolation information. In each lesson, there are only four FIM chapter tabs. You use MAT selections to find fault isolation information. You can select four primary displays during the fault isolation exercises. Select a display now to see an example. Look at the primary flight display to find fault flags. You can see fault flags on the navigation display. You can look at the ICAST display to see ICAST indications and messages. In the practice, you can use the Cancel Recall switch on the Display Select panel to page through ICAST messages. In the practice, you can use the Display Select panel or the CDU to select the different multifunction display formats. Use the Ramp Maintenance Manual to find special data about faults. In the exercises, you will be able to get access to panels and components. You can see their condition or perform tests. You will copy information from the tools into one of the sections of a notebook. Here is an example. Select this mat data to add it to your notebook. You can also look at the data you put in other notebook sections. Look at the FIM data now. All the collected FIM data is in the FIM section of the notebook. Remember, during the lesson you must copy data from the tools into your notebook in this way. Now you have enough data in your notebook to identify and correct this fault. Select Corrective Action. Now select the Correct Maintenance Procedure. That is correct. After you identify the corrective action, you will see several different fault isolation paths. You should do the exercise again and isolate the fault in different ways. The flight crew reports an AIMS status message. Select a tool to start the fault isolation.
you could look at the task for each of these maintenance messages. But it will be faster to use another tool to get the maintenance message you need. You already have this data in your notebook. Make another selection. See if the AIMS status message is still active. See if the AIMS status message is still active. See if the AIMS status message is still active. You can select information to learn more about the fault, or you can make another mat selection. Select the procedure that corrects the fault. All right, you used the fault isolation tools to identify the fault and the corrective action. When you have isolated and corrected the fault, make sure that the fault symptoms are no longer active. Use the FIM to return the airplane to operating condition. Here you saw that one failed LRM in the left AIMS cabinet caused the AIMS status message. You found the faulty LRM by using several of the fault isolation tools. Remember, there may be several fault isolation paths for any problem. You should also try other fault isolation paths in this practice.